need to provide a trigger warning. To anyone that has children in the room, they can stay. This will be a completely G-rated endeavor. Um, today's episode, or the, the episode now, will be titled, Strokes and Little People. No, Corey and Ryan from work, I'm not talking about you guys. You can go back to filling potholes on the yellow brick road and running from flying monkeys. I'm talking about children. I don't have any of my own. I've never been blessed in that regard. But there are a few little people in my life, um, from friends or family members, that may be aware I've had a stroke. Or not. Um, what they need, what you as a parent needs to tell your child, that's on you. I, I can't tell you how to have that conversation. What I can tell you is that strokes are a thing. That I realize that your young person might be between the ages of, say, 6 and 10. I'm not going to, you know, name any names or ages or anything like that, because that would, not my place. However, was I in the hospital? Yes, I was. Was it scary? Oh, yeah, definitely. Did they have really bad food? Yeah, really bad food. Um, were the doctors and nurses in the hospital generally helpful and friendly? They completely were. I owe my life um, to the people at RVH in Barrie. Am I the exact same person as I was before? A little bit more bent, broken, and bruised, but essentially I am the exact same person. So, what should you know? I might stutter from time to time. I might get confused from time to time. Um, I might need a nap from time to time. Uh, it's only been two weeks since my stroke, two weeks today. In fact, um, at the time I'm recording this, it'll be two weeks exactly in two minutes time. So, For those of you that do have friends or family members that may have recently had a stroke and also have to explain this to children, I know that will be a difficult conversation for you, but it's one that eventually will have to be had. I lucked out. I managed to get the uh, clot busting drug within a, a good amount of time. The stroke I had was very minor, or so I'm told. Uh, so the result I'm having is not your norm. I'm, I will admit that, but I'm getting better every day, stronger every day, and hopefully I can be back to work before they say I'm supposed to be because it's getting boring. So if you, someone around you, or someone you even can't stand appears to be having a stroke, or you notice the signs, signs or symptoms of them possibly having a stroke. Slurring of speech, stuttering, inappropriate words for the context or situation you're in. No, that doesn't necessarily mean swearing. Inability to smile completely. Inability to raise both arms. Difficulty with weakness on one side of the body or just general overall weakness. Immediately put that person into a position of comfort and dial 911. What you do may be so simple, but will save a life. And for those of you that are enjoying what you're watching, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're not enjoying what you're watching, please, I don't care. Stop watching. This isn't for you. Have a great day.